The Chosen might be the only series right now that has the concession from the ongoing writers and actors strike to continue filming. And if you still haven't noticed it before, this is a major blessing. I don't know if this is a reflection of the show's holiness or not. But I'm sure that in a world where we have to wait at least two more years for Stranger Things to release its new season, having a crowdfunded show continuing filming is more than a miracle. I don't know about you guys, but I'm more than excited for the new season of The Chosen, as it is likely to be one of the few ones that will have a new season at all in the foreseeable future. My only question about this highly expected upcoming season 4 is whether it will witness the death of Jesus Christ or not. I don't think many of us are used to watching biblical characters as literal characters on TV. And I believe this is one of the reasons why The Chosen has gathered so much attraction since the first day it was released. The show is focusing on Jesus' life through character-based stories, meaning that we are becoming very familiar with the apostles as the show goes on. However, contrary to a film project or a mini-series, the show takes its time each season. For instance, we met with Judas only at the end of season 2, so we had to watch for 16 long episodes only to meet Judas, one of the most famous apostles of Jesus, and not for a very good reason. This might seem a bit too long for some, but in my opinion, it enables the showrunners to tell this magical story in a very realistic and satisfactory way. We get to know everyone in his life and care about their struggles not only because we believe in this story, but because they are on-screen characters whose stories are interesting to us. That is to say, even if it wasn't based on the Bible, the Chosen would have been regarded as a pretty good show for its production value, interesting story, clever scenario, and compelling characters. And I believe the immense interest in the show worldwide proves this fact. I mean, there are lots of non-Christians out there praising the show constantly, proving that the series is doing something right. As expected, the show got the confirmation of Season 4 renewal earlier this year. And this week, it is revealed that the filming process continues despite the strikes, as they got an exception from the SAG. This means that there will be no delays in the release schedule of The Chosen. Therefore, we can expect the new season to be released in early 2024. Since it will first hit the theaters, I would not be surprised to see the show premiering on Christmas, aka December 25, 2023, and then be available on TV around January 2024. I believe this would be a pretty good gesture to the fans who have been supporting the show since the very first day. Now many question what will be the plot of the upcoming season, and whether will it be the last of the show. Of course, such a thing would mean that we will finally witness the crucifixion of Christ. Personally, I have no doubt that the crucifixion scene will be more than heartbreaking, so I'm not exactly looking forward to it. However, I know that many of you guys have been waiting for that end, especially to witness the aftermath of this devastating event. Nevertheless, I'm here to announce that you have to wait at least two more years for the ending of the show if everything would continue as planned. Why? Well, the show is scheduled to have seven seasons in total if there wouldn't be any issues in the funding department. Thus, I believe the majority of the crucifixion storyline is likely to take place in the seventh and last seasons of the series. Don't worry though, season four will still be very much exciting with lots of drama, spirituality, and plot twists. Are you excited about the chosen season four? Which biblical events do you expect to see in the upcoming season? Let me know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching, see you soon.